You know what time it is, it's time to get sauced up with another Super Saiyan Jutsu reaction to Breaking Bad. I'm back here with Bree. Yo! So last time, uh, Walter White decided to go back to Jesse because he's going through with the chemotherapy. Yeah, and in a reluctant way, I guess. Oh, I don't know, I think he realized how much she really wanted him to, him fight. to live yeah. and to, to fight. Yeah. Um, but that was really a tough one to digest. Because I For can sure. completely understand his reasoning of I've never yeah. been able to have my own decisions and this is now my decision. And yeah. then he went back on his decision yeah. and made a different decision. Yeah. I, it's one of those things where I think in this scenario, nobody's wrong. Correct. Right? And I still think that this decision was still on his terms. He just had to come to realize the reasoning behind yeah. her bullshit. Yeah. Because that's what it was. Yeah. It was bullshit the yeah. way she interrogated him. Yeah, it was. It was weird. Like uh, knowing, like uh, I can understand wanting to have that type of conversation amongst the family, uh, and it to me it was the fact that you broke your own rule. It's like you set a rule and then you broke the rule yep. immediately when somebody disagreed with you. Mm -hmm. To me, that's one of those things of like it. There's a brattiness to that. It's yeah. Like, I think it was important that they sat down as a family. I liked that idea that she had mm -hmm. about it. But to your point, like follow your own rules. Yeah, it's like you set the rules, and that's the rule. Like you can't. You won't hold in the ball. Shut your mouth. Yeah, shut up. What are you talking about <laughs> that was so irritating. But I could again. I understand why how everybody's feeling in the scenario. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna see how Walter moves to this because he's not to pay for all the stuff he doesn't want to go through his friend and he's told her that he has told her that he he has already got money for it the insurance covered it when he was talking about the uh the girl that i guess he used to that he wished that he was still with i guess i don't know how it's so interesting it's a, such an interesting situation yeah and he and we found out that that company he started with him he was like you know you kind of own half the, like it's kind of half yours it's yours so Sad. It is sad, but if you guys want to catch this uncut and early, make sure you guys check this out over on the Phantom Troop. That link is up here. Um, it is over on Patreon as well, but the Phantom Troop just gives you a couple more options. And you can watch it all a cart. So if you don't want to have a tier situation, you can watch it just on its own. So you have that option. Um, and if you guys want to continue this journey with us, man, consider hitting that subscribe button. And finally, we are headed to Japan for my birthday. Uh, that's going to be uh, from Ju June 23rd June to 23rd. July 10th. Um, in that same time, I'm going to be shooting a mini series in Japan. Um, so if you guys want to contribute to how that is, you know, what's going to happen on those videos, there's also a link on the cards. You guys can check out what's going to be going down. But other than that, you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Well, we have a, we have a third reactor. Gun holes. Yeah. Gun holes, bullet holes. It's probably what the hell happened here. Look at him like, are you serious, my guy? The yeah. disrespect. Not my beacon burner. Your beaker burner? Beacon. Beacon. Is that what it is? No. Uh. It's a Bunsen burner. A Bunsen. <laughs> I was thinking of beaker. The Muppets. Let's get something straight. Out there on the street, you deal with that. <laughs> I don't want to see them. I don't want to hear from them. I right. want no interaction with them whatsoever. Cause something happened. This operation is you and me. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. No more bloodshed. No more no bloodshed. Violence. Oh well. What the fuck is this? Oh what? He bombed. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? He's bald. Well, he—that's chemo. Right. The chemo is, so it's a flashback of them agreeing and yeah. then a fast forward of he had blood in that bag. That was a head. Do you reckon that was a head? That could have been a head. It could have been a head, but it, I think it would have been Ooh. more blood than that. I don't know. That's crazy, though. That's an opener. That. What an opening. That's a cold open for that ass. What is going on? Brian Cranston. I'm only saying. You know, I'd be okay with it, really, if you want to go. Oh, um, and 
Have you been in touch with Elliot? Because uh, I haven't seen a check from him. I, <laughs> yeah, it, it came last week, and I put it right into my credit union account, so huh? I'm taking care of it. Call if the discomfort's too much. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Discomfort's too much. Oof. That chemo has got to be so rough. I didn't know what it was. Like, I didn't know that's what happened. They just inject? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but if a reaction happens quickly, Otherwise, harmless substances Feel can interact in a way. Hint, hint. <laughs> like an explosion? Yes, good. Explosions. Explosions. Okay, listen, why don't you start reading on your own from the top of chapter seven? Oh, I knew that was happening. For sure. You okay? I got it, Mr. White. Don't worry. You got kids to teach. Thanks, Hugo. Mm. That's gotta feel almost demoralizing, like, because he know he made a mess, right? And then he's like, "Don't worry about it. I got it." Like, obviously that's his job. Starting to lose weight. Well, when um. When you don't let me in, when you don't tell me what's going on. I mean, it's like, I feel like you don't even want me around sometimes. What's up with that? <laughs> Walt. What is, is up with that? Anything else holding back from your family? Now's the time to share. Oh, it's not. In front of other people. No. I mean, it's, it's in, obviously it's some kind of group counseling situation. Yeah, but that's awkward. Like, all right, I'm fucking other bitches. <laughs> like, what, like, what if it's that? Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's a tough one because obviously they're in a, a family group therapy, I think. And maybe it has something to do with people that are also... Having, a, yeah, having the same treatment. But... Yeah, I wonder what lie he's going to tell. You know? Yeah. I like to go on walks. You know, cacti, vegetation, <laughs> that kind of thing. <laughs> Am I here cooking this white? Well, no, it's not the one. He's not cooking Coke. What? He's not making Coke. Glass. What's he noticing? Oh shit, she's on his chest. When were you gonna tell me? Oh shit. Hey, what? Cancer. You got it, right? How did you know? My aunt had one of those dots on her mm. to target the radiation. God, that's not cool, okay? Not at all. 3A. Mm. So he knows stuff. Mm hmm He's one of those things. He's one of those things too, though. Like they remember, he. He. I think he's really smart. I think he's true. He just doesn't know how to apply the smart. Well, he even on his paper. Remember, he said, "Apply yourself." Yeah. He was like, "Dude, you're not even trying." Yeah. yeah. I get it now. That's why you're doing all this. Hmm. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. You got a problem with that? Hey, you tell me. You're the one that looks like you just crawled out of a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions, I'll be right out here. Hey, what happened to your mad skills? Next time, put an ice pack on your head during chemo. My aunt said it helped with the hair loss. Oh, time to put up or shut up, mad skills. Come on, skill man. Looking at it from his perspective, like you you forget sometimes, like, yeah, he's doing criminal activity, but he still has people that he cared about. Mm -hmm. Auntie. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the side of stuff that I think people forget. Yeah. Like, oh, they do this. It's like, but they they still have a mom, a dad, 
siblings. They're real people. Yeah. There's still people around them that they care about. And sometimes that may be reasons why they're doing stuff, which but he was like, I get why you're doing this yeah. now. But at the same time, seeing Jesse, like, dude, why don't you tell me? Mm. Like, not just like we're partners, but like that's serious. It sucks, yeah. yeah. Lab says they pulled up an imprint of some old writing it used to be on the inside, an old magic marker or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's it say? Property of J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. See? That's Walt School. I told you, I told you they're gonna... Didn't I say that? They're probably gonna have writing inside and talking about the school. Now the thing is, I don't think he's gonna think it's Walt. His son. He's gonna, But he's gonna be more like... He's thinking now of his nephew being in danger, I think. You know what I'm talking about? You reckon? Yeah, I think he's gonna be like... This is a family member's school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to make sure that place is clean, you know? Mm. Drop off. Not scooby doo doo be doo scooby doo doo be doo Hey, prepaid cell phone. Use it. Right. Burner. And bread. Last time I checked, there were 16 ounces to a pound. What'd you do with the rest? Smoke it? Yo, I've been out there all night slinging crystal. <laughs> you think it's cake moving a pound of meth one teenth at a time? Sell the whole pound at once. To who? What do I look like, Scarface? <laughs> it's unacceptable. Bulk. Wholesale. Now, how do we do that? Yes, that's what we need. We need a distributor. Now, do you know anyone like that? Yeah, I mean, I used to. Until you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. He's like, ah. Oh. Like, hello, sir. Hey, I know you don't know me, but would you be interested in a felony quantity of methamphetamine? Well, mm -hmm. yes, but maybe with a little more salesmanship, perhaps. <laughs> just don't get it, man. Okay, this guy's OG. Well, who introduced you to Crazy Eight? Emilio. That's only because I knew him from like third grade, and we can't talk to Emilio either. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Look, I'm telling you, I mean, we're making money. Why can't you just be satisfied with the way oh, that. Come on. Jesus! Just throw some fucking balls! <laughs> I mean, the blow up, though, we haven't really seen him blow up. Right. Right? So I think a lot of stuff is actually hitting him yeah. as well. Of like, my my session was $1,900. But this ain't enough. This ain't enough. Yeah. So what are we talking about right now? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not only are you having chemo, but you've got financial stress on top of that. Oh yeah, from the chemo. But then you had, then you're you trying have... to fight a disease that can barely be fought, yeah. and then you've got the financial stress on Man. top. Yeah, oh. that plus your family's emotional burden, plus trying to make the money, like with the with the math, like he's going through this right now. I like Hugo. He's, he's good people. Let me know if you need anything, huh? I will. Thank you, Carl. No. I was incognito. He don't, she don't know. Chick's got an ass like an onion. Makes me want to cry. <laughs> she she has some cake. You know, a little bit of cake on it, you know? An onion? A little bit of cake. Onion booty. You never heard that? Never. What? It makes you want to cry. I've never heard somebody say it makes you want to cry, but she got onion booty. Like, just, it's a bubble. You know? No? All right. Oh, I was saying, she so what she didn't know that he's a, a federal agent. I think he just, like, oh, hey, I want to come see you. Well, I don't think that she knows that he's a federal agent. Uh, old label on the inside used to say J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. Snitch? Yeah, one of our confidential informants. Went missing a while back, uh, no body yet, but uh, we're pretty sure he's, you know. Any respirators like that go missing lately? <clears throat> no, no. No, I mean, I'm not, not that I know of. Well, the science faculty, the staff, Carmen, the vice principal, has the master, and uh, me. 5,000 milliliter round bottom. Methods love to ruin this baby. <laughs> you gonna answer that? Hello. Yo, what's up, Mr. W? Uh, speaking. A bad time to talk. Turns out my boy Skinny P was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. Oh, shit. Got her in. We're all on a pound to the dude right now. 
My uh, doctor is very solicitous. He, uh, look, buddy, the last thing I want to do is get you in hot water. Oh, yeah. But some meth monkey had a feeding frenzy in here. We don't want people to start wondering about you. Man. Right. <laughs> it's so crazy because he's so unassuming and Not everybody yet. around him is like, oh, he's like a super square. So yeah. there's no way Walt is doing anything. Right. Yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. Hey, yo, man, I'm Skinny Pete. I'm Skinny Pete. No, no pat down, none of that. What? I probably pat him here. Chico's expecting us. Oof. I don't know you, play. Sick crib, yo. You've been keeping it real since you've been sprung. What's it been like a year? Right. I said, hit it. Booyah! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> this, this kick's like a mule with his balls wrapped in duct tape. <laughs> it's all right, don't sweat it. It's all good. Skug, go on, get out of here. What about the money? You'll get it. This is a consignment operation. You want me to float 35 G's? Mm. You don't trust me? <laughs> no, no, hey, it's not, it's not that, man. It's just, you know, I don't... I don't do business that way. Tough shit, the deal is done. Hmm? You said this was cool. Can't money for meth, catch up front. Don't be fun, dude, Tuco's good for it. Uh. I don't need your punk ass to box for me. Hmm? Uh. Come on, oh, come shit. All right, you brought me some really clean crystal. <laughs> you really want your money in front? That was the same bag at right. the start of the episode. What's the deal? What's the catch? Ah, bitch. That's why I have blood on it. Nobody moves crystal in the South Valley but me, bitch! <laughs> Oof. So do you reckon he's gone there? Do you reckon the beginning of the episode is him going there to get, get revenge money. and get the money and pay back for Jesse? Do you I reckon he so. was like, fuck me? And he uses his chemical brain to explode the place. I mean, if he's creating bombs. <laughs> I mean, because at the beginning of the episode, it's talking about chemical reactions. He was talking about explosives. That's what I'm so saying. that actually might be the tie in of the episode. Don't mind if I call you Hugo. Hugo? No. What? All right. Welcome. Uh, He's been done. He said background check, so something, something. He must have, a like, prior, a drug either charge a pr prior. Prior? Oh, that's a no Oh, name. not Hugo. Dr. Delcavoli is trying to talk him out of taking some time off from work, but... Well, actually, I just talked to Carmen this morning, and they're getting a substitute for a few weeks. Hey, Uncle Hank, um, I already arrested Mr. Ar Archuleta the other day. He's a pretty cool guy. Well, uh, turns out he has a record. Yeah, a couple of possession beefs. Which goes to prove, oh, huge Hugo ain't so cool after all. It's, it's to you, Walt. Not the blunt. Oh, come on, oh my God. Big, fat, blunt. He had weed in his car. He Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no, kids. Yeah, yeah well, not the personal Walt, but uh, you wouldn't know a criminal if he was close enough to check you for a hernia. <laughs> <laughs> now, that said, <laughs> we got a search warrant and tore old Hugo's house apart. Hmm? Oh, he, uh, well, I mean, he's going to lose his job like he should. Probably spent mm. a couple months in county because it's not his first rap. I'm all in. All in. Cuz. You bad, bad, bad horrible liar. <laughs> you smoking there, huh? <laughs> huh? You got a heart? You got the flush, don't you? Talk 
about anticlimactic. Hey. Your cards come in that bag. Come on. An ace? What are you, what are you doing? And a cowboy? What are you, what are you doing? For... Don't, don't, what do you want? <laughs> Gotcha, big boy. Yep. You would just shave it, wouldn't you? Yeah. He's gonna shave it for sure. Got messed up pretty good. I was all like, damn, too good, chill, I say. I don't know what got into him, seriously. No, bro. No, bro. I was like, damn. <laughs> he is, he's not even, he's not even cool him like that. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Tell me See? everything about him. Tell me See? everything about him. Just do it, bro. Go and shave it. Shave that hoe. Turning point for him. I mean, it's one of those things too. Where it's like, it's it's a it's on your own terms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do it before it's gone. Yeah, it's like, all right, well, I'm I'm doing this then. I'm not gonna let this shit do. You know? Badass dad. <laughs> <laughs> so to me, that doesn't look like a bald cap. No, he shaved it. I think he actually shaved his head for real for, for sure. the shower. For the shower. Yeah, because it's white. Like he scalps white. Hmm. You too go. I want to talk to Tuco, and I'm not leaving until I do. Hmm. He's like, he won't make it out of here alive. Nah, I think it's, I think he's, I think he was looking at him. Like, he's looking at him like, you seem like you, you serious. Like that, I think it's a respect. You yeah, because a little fucking crackhead dude came in, <laughs> and he was like, he was like, yo, man, chill out. He talked, he looked him dead in the eye. It was like, are you Tuco? I'm here to see Tuco, and I'm not leaving until I talk to him. He looked at, he was looking at him like, all right. I, I think it was a respect thing. Because mm. he didn't put, he didn't do this to him. You know what I'm saying? He like, what's up? Hmm. It's not the glass. Heisenberg. 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 I was waiting. I was like, he's got to have a street name. He can't be going around talking about, I'm Walter. I'm Walter White. <laughs> Show me the, why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> oh man, 50 G's? How you figure that? 35 for the pound of meth you stole. And another 15 for my partner's pain and suffering. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that little bitch. <laughs> so he must be daddy. Not daddy. Woo, that's a brilliant plan, isn't it? Brilliant. Really? <laughs> Echo. <laughs> you got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. Right. Jeez! Yo, this dude took a pop rock to a whole nother <laughs> level. Yo, that is crazy. This is, is not, not meth. meth. Heisenberg. Bah. You know what? That, did you guys ever have pogs? Yes. It was a slammer. That's what a slammer. Yes. Yeah. He hit him with the slammer right there. Well, this is like um, what I was saying to you. Do you remember the other day I was like, didn't you have Tarzos? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. And you're like, no, same thing. Tazos oh, okay. are like pogs. Don't the circle flat. Yeah. Yeah. Are you fucking nuts? I want to find out. What was that? No, no, it's Gonzo. Gunma. 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 He like, yo, chill out. It's so faster than ten dollar ass and TJ. <laughs> you know what TJ is? Tijuana. Sometimes you gotta rob to keep your riches. Oof. Respect it. As long as we got an understanding. Yep. 
One pound is not gonna cut it. You have to take two. Eliminated mercury. <laughs> Tie it. Tweak of chemistry. <laughs> this shit is epic. He's bad ass. He has boy. respect. Look at him just walk out. Walk like out. Boy, like I'm out of here. Nothing. Go back to my Pontiac gas deck. They're all like, how the hell did he just leave the building? Don't pull it out right now. Troll you. Put it in the bag. Yeah, he hype. Yeah. Yeah, he hype. He hype right now. He's like, I just did that. He said, I am him. I, this is who I have been. This is who I have been. I am him. That's this man right here. Yo, he hype. Let's go, Mr. Y. Let's go. Heisenberg. Fucking Heisenberg. Mr. Heisenberg. So now we've got two personalities. We've got Heisenberg and we've got Y. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though, is he has his look is like. Heisenberg as fuck. Well what, well, what what I'm saying though is like, he he ha he's not he doesn't fit a, a broad thing anymore. So if people find out who Heisenberg is, what he looks like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're like, all right, well, and if the FBI his, his brother-in-law is like bald, bald glasses, glasses chemistry teacher. Well, well, they don't know he's a chemistry teacher. They don't know he's a chemistry bringing teacher. Chemi chemical bombs. Well. I don't know how often this is gonna happen. But, right. But what I'm saying, just the MO of, oh, there's a cook out here, his name's Eisenberg. Oh, white guy, bald. That whole vibe right there is like, that's a different thing. Yeah. So I think in that, it's like, you're not just this white guy with brown hair and glasses that fits a, a huge demographic. You look like a skin, an old skinhead. Mm -hmm. So it's like, this is, this is different. Yeah. This is different. Oh, that was so good. Yeah. That was a great episode. Yeah. That, yeah. Far out. I wish we had time to watch another one. I know. This, this, uh, I love the start of it. So when you said bomb, I was like, that actually would make sense tying to the beginning of mm -hmm. the episode of the chemical reactions. That whole, that whole story that was awesome. Ah, uh, the way they started the... The backstory to the to moving forward and then came and met us. Oh, that yeah. I always so good. I always like cold opens like that though, where you have a you know this two days later things and yeah. then it starts at the beginning. I love those types of things. Nonlinear is my is my shit for sure. Yeah, but again, I didn't. I wasn't expecting a jump so much of into chemo. Like, so it was, it's not like this happened a day later. This is, it looks like it's happened a few weeks. Time hop. You know, so I like the time skips for sure. It just helps move the story along a little bit better. Yeah. Um, now the thing is like how fast, how long is it going to take for a brother-in-law to f start putting things together? Cause he's going to start noticing his changes. Yeah. Like that moment there in playing poker, I think he was kind of like, he like when he, he, lied? Took, he was like, hold on, what? Like, yeah. All right. Like, yep. so I think there's gonna be small, subtle things that, that his friends and family are gonna start noticing about him. Yeah, because he's not gonna be able to well, keep these plus two identities. Well, where's his alibi of where he goes after every chemo? For sure, and you then, know. And then they already said that he has a substitute teacher coming in. So now, what are you doing during the day mm -hmm. when you're not at home? Because your wife don't work, so she's gonna, gonna know. be there. And she's you, you know she's already in all your business. So there's yep. no way. Oh, so good. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Let us know your guys' thoughts, man, in the comments down below. Um, if you guys have seen this already, what episode number are you excited for us to watch this season? Um, I Again, I didn't know when we were going to start getting into the shits, and we're here right now, so that's kind of cool. And again, if you guys want to catch this uncut, unedited, make sure you guys check out the Phantom Troop. Links up here, or you can check it out on Patreon either way. But like I said before, this is a way to watch it all a cart over on the Phantom Troops. If you just want to catch a couple episodes here and there, 
and not do the tier thing, you can do it over there. But other than that, we'll catch you guys in the next one. See you next week.